Hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel Physics Sergi. I'm here today with a very interesting question on projectile motion, which should be uh, concerning both the JE aspirants and Olympiad aspirants alike. It contains a very important concept, uh, very rarely given in the textbooks, right? Because we have other type of minimum velocity challenges and all those things, but this is slightly different scenario as compared to all those questions. Okay. So without much further ado, let me present to you the formal wording of the question. So here it is. There is an interior of a modern museum. Uh, it's a perfect right cone with a half apex angle of 60 degrees. Right. So that means he's talking about the semi vertical angle of that conical museum. Right. It's a hollow cone. You could consider it is 60 degrees launched from the center of the cones base. The minimum speed needed for the projectile to reach the apex apex is the stopmost point is V naught. OK, so if you launch it straight up, the speed required to reach the top minimum is V naught. What is the minimum speed required to reach the wall of the cone? All these parameters that I have marked in the diagram are just for convenience. Only given thing is the value of V naught. Okay, so please do neglect air drag and all that. Give me the answer for the minimum speed required to reach the wall of the cone. Wall is that slant walls. Okay, so you can throw it in any which direction you want. Among all those throws, what is the minimum speed throw? that you will be requiring to touch the slant height of the cone. OK, so that's the question in terms of V naught. Uh, give a pause to the video and do judiciously try the question because it's a very interesting question. And then uh, after two or three minutes of the try, please do follow the solution that I'm going to provide you with. Here it is. So instead of doing the question using the equations and the trajectory equations and cutting of the cone, a straight line equation, all those usual stuff that also, yes, will give you the solution. I've tried to present it in a slightly different scenario. I don't want to use calculus also for minimizing a function. Okay, so the logic is pretty simple. What I did is I first of all estimated the value of V naught in terms of the height of the cone, right? We all know if I'm throwing it in a vertical projectile motion, the value of the speed required to reach a height H is given by root two G H. Okay. It's a simple thing. Either you use energy conservation or simple kinematics in one dimension. You should be able to ascertain this equation for sure. Then what I'm doing is I, I'm trying to think of uh, reaching this particular slant height. Look at in the diagram, right? Uh, I'm thinking of a drawing an axis which is having a y axis perpendicular to the slant height starting from this point. Think of a line which is drawn as perpendicular. I'll come to it why I'm choosing that. Okay, there's a reason for that. So to this slant height, there is a perpendicular that I've drawn. I'm calling it as y axis. And obviously the x axis is this way. Okay. Now think all your uh, throws that you can have, right? Different, different directions. I can easily take components of those throws one along this y axis, which is the perpendicular direction and one along the x axis, which is parallel to the slant height. I'm calling them as V O P T. There is a reason for that optimum. Okay. And V waste. Okay. So instead of calling them V X and V Y, I'm calling them V O P T and V waste to put my point across. Also the acceleration due to gravity. I have resolved them along the y axis as a G sine theta and in the uh, negative y direction this, this has theta and g cos theta which is along the green color direction okay so that opt is the y component and waste one is the x component then i argue that the component in x direction that you are throwing is not going to affect the motion in the y direction that's the whole idea of the projectile motion so however large it is it doesn't guarantee the coverage delta phi i'll give you a simple situation if v opt is very very small and v waste is very large you will still miss the slant height it will just fall off at this particular place. So V optimum is decided by make sure, making sure that the, this VOPT is good enough to reach this position. So in a minimum condition, I think this waste component needs to be reduced and that means it has to be made zero. So this is the highlight of the entire concept that I wanted to present to you. So uh, understanding that waste component needs to be made zero is the uh, trick to solving this question. So in that minimal case, the value of V O P T in the optimal case uh, required would be the only component that would be required. So this is and what should this value be? This value should fight against this gravity to cover this height. And how much is this height? I think that would be clearly a H sine theta. Okay, so this would be H sine theta. 
So you are now looking at the same equation right at the top with varied values of G and H. G effectively in this problem now has become G sine theta. H effectively has become H sine theta. So the VOPT without any doubt, I guess, should be simply square root of 2 G sine theta multiplied by H sine theta. Since root 2 G H is already given as V naught, I think you will all agree that this would be V naught into sine theta itself. Since theta was given as 60 degrees, answer to this question would be root 3 V naught by 2. I hope you like the video and the concept behind the video. So please do like the video once this is done and share this content too with others. And also please do subscribe to my channel. Thank you and see you in the next video.